top of the morning, top of the afternoon, top of the evening, even. Yeah, depending on what part of the globe you reside on, I'm sending my salutes to y'all, man. Shout out to collectors, shout out to collectors worldwide, comic book collectors, collectible collectors, so forth and so on. But today we here for these G.I. Joe collectibles, man. We got Super 7, man. I'm super excited to get this in hand and to see what this thing look like out of the box and on the spinner. This is the bat, the Cobra bat. Oh, my God. The SDCC 2022 exclusive. Man, this is a beauty right here. The only difference, what makes this difference, different from the other bats is the color variation. And uh, this variant right here, I believe, is the dopest variant to me. And it was exclusively exclusive to SDCC Comic-Con, uh, San Diego Comic-Con this year. And I was able to secure this on an eBay auction. It was going for a little bit of change, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I won the bid for like maybe 70 something dollars. I'll show you a picture right here somewhere on the side. And, um... Yeah, I'm super excited to have this in the collection, man. You know, I've been collecting G.I. Joe's for a very long time, and I was there since day one. I just lost a lot of figures. As you know, you age and go through life, you lose items. You know and I'm saying, you know, at that age, I really wasn't thinking about collectibles. You know what I mean? After a while, it was just like, all right, I lost them, and that was that. You know what I'm saying? The smarter ones, they held on to them. Did open a packaging and kept them crispy and pristine for later usage. And look where they at now. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. G.I. Joe's is out of this world. This is a property that will never die. And I tell people time and time, whether it's comic books, IDW, whatever it is, collect G.I. Joe and just tuck it away. You can't go wrong, my people. But in any event, I'm tired of trying to convince you guys of this. I'll let somebody else break the news to you because obviously people don't listen to Doggy anymore, whatever the case may be, but it's all good. Now, we're going to get into this right here, man. So stay tuned. We're going to get into this and we're going to see what this thing looking like out of this package and we're going to open this up. And not to mention, it came with a coin. came with this Cobra coin. And I believe this, as the story goes, they turned, I'll see if I could put it up here somewhere on the side, or over here in the corner, top left, top right, whatever. And um, I'll put a little bit of footage of where you could have purchased this in San Diego, because it wasn't at the actual con itself. But you had to, you know, walk a couple of ways and get to the location. And it was the Super 7 in San Diego. And they changed it into a whole Cobra command station. Whatever they did, it was super dope. I wish I could participate in that. And um, man, that shit, that shit is awesome, man. I wish I was there. You know, I envy you people that get to go there every year, man. I'm I'm making it there. That's that's definitely one of my um to-do lists. That's definitely on doggy to-do list real soon, shortly. I'm saying hopefully next year. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even mind living out there, to tell you the truth, because you guys on that side of the part of the globe, man, get everything first, man. I don't understand <laughs> shit. Or, oh, man, people will be on the East Coast. We don't get shit, man. But, um, all right, man, let's get into it. I'm tired of beating your eardrums off your head, man. Pause. But, um, uh, here we go, man. Let's do this, man. We're going to open this thing see what it look like. Yeah, um, uh, and for the people that, you know, usually tapped in, for the comic book drops and all that and see what's going on with the doggy and comic books and stuff like that. You know, I will put some videos up maybe shortly. But I've been, you know, I've been out of the loop, man. I've just been out of it, man. I ain't been doing no comic book uh videos or nothing like that. I've been grabbing, though. Don't don't get it twisted. Doggy been grabbing books like a motherfucker, but it's just I've been uninspired, man. People ain't really tapped in like that. I don't know what you gotta do to yeah. This shit is rough, man. YouTube is rough, man. I just can't call it, man. So I've just been uninspired. Haven't been putting videos up like that. 
But um, doggy still out there, you know what I'm saying? You can check for me on Instagram, stuff like that. I might throw a couple of videos here and there, you know what I'm saying? But uh, for the most part, yeah, I've been cooling out, man. Just doing what I do best. And um, that's just grabbing things for a good price. If I can find them for dope prices, you know what I'm saying? And um, I get a chance to do stuff like that. It's more... It's more relaxing for me, man. Just to chill and be easy, man. I ain't got, I ain't slave to my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Put it that way. And I was becoming slave to this YouTube shit. And that's really not my thing, man. So, you know, I just feel a lot better now, man. You know, I can do it at my leisure. And I ain't really chasing nothing like that. So, yeah. I might start doing these figures. But nonetheless, yeah. All right, we got this box right here. This box is metallic. Ooh, chrome, foil, whatever you want to call it. it look like steel, shiny steel. Box is crazy. We can get rid of this box. This is the box it comes in. We all know what the box looks like. All right, cool. Got that. But this right here, guys. Oh, my God. Look at this right here. Trying to get this right, pause out. Little swivel is a little messed up. There we go. As you can see, guys, this is the box. It has that distressed metal look. It's super dope. Super, super dope. Look at this thing right here. Oh man, I was I, I'm glad I was able to secure this for the price I did. Pay for it. On an auction, I don't know what it's going for right now. We could check in a minute. I'll put it right here on the side what it's going for right now at the moment. But uh, this, this I'm not looking to resale anytime soon, or you know what I'm saying, or if, if at all, because <laughs> I am a collector first. You guys know that about doggy, and I love this right here. This is my shit right here, so I more than likely will not sell this. Look at this bad boy here. Woo. Look at this. Oh, man, this is beautiful. This is classic. Oh, man. Hit that like button while you did, man. Hit that like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing and um tapping in, man. Yeah. Get involved. Get in tune. Book drip doggy. Ooh, look at that, man. So, yeah, we're going to look at it. We're going to take it out of this box. Look at it. See what this thing looks like on a... Maybe not a spinner. The spinner's upstairs, and I don't feel like going upstairs and getting a spinner. So, we'll just look at it. Probably bring it outside, let you guys look at it outside. Better look at it. But this is super dope. Wow, look at that. You can pause it right here, guys, to get to read it. There you have it. All right, let's get into the figure. Got this thing secured right here. Yeah. Oh my God! Look, we got the burst. The GI, the famous GI Joe burst. This is a beast right here. This is a beast right here. Look at this. This is a beast. This is a beast of a figure. Ah, come on. Really, really, really 
annoying. So really, really annoying. All right, so we got him out the out of here. Bang. Yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast. Well, real quick, we're going to check it out real quick. He got the next swivel. It's kind of loose. This one's a little loose. It feels a little loose. It's not tight or nothing like that. So up, down, side to side. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. It's kind of loose, though. This little swivel's loose right here. This is like a rubber attached. You can't remove the grenades or nothing like that. It's like a rubber flexible piece that goes over his chest plate, the bass chest plate. And, um, you got the arm swivel, shoulder... The uh, pause, pause. <laughs> you got the shoulder rotating shoulder movement. You could it goes about that far up and stops because it's yellow right here. Elbow, it's not double jointed or nothing like that. It's not double jointed elbow, wrist swivel. Arm swivel, wrist bend. There you have it. Pretty dope. Same with the other arm. Uh, no real ab crunch, not like that. A little slight ab crunch, but nothing crazy. Swivels around. Bing, bing. No double jointed. Just a net, one leg bend, one ankle bend, no ball joint, no toe, no toe articulation, no very minimum articulation on this figure right here, but it resembles the cartoon, eighties cartoon accurately, and um, like I said, the only difference is the color, the variant color. This is a blue, opposed to it being black and yellow. And this is just super dope, super clean. We have many different attachments. We have it. We have a head. I'm not gonna take it out right now. I'll take it outside when we look at poses and stuff like that. We'll look at it completely in its entirety. And um appreciate how it's supposed to be appreciated out of the box. And here, as you can see, we have all the accessories. We have his firearms. We have, uh, what is this? This looks like a AR-15 or something like that. He got his little AR-15, an MP5, AR MP5 or something like that. He got some ray gun. Some little, you know, his little, his little jammy right there. <laughs> I ain't never seen that on the market. It resembles a little, little German Luger, something like that. German German Luger, something like that. Then you have his claw his attachment, his claw attachments. You have his different attachments. Some more uh, hands, grappling hands, trigger hands, stuff like that. And you got the battle damage uh, headpiece. You got more battle damage stuff. You got his uh battle damage spark <laughs> spark showing that he is out. <laughs> you know, it kind of messed him up, getting hit, destroyed or whatever. And then you got his backpack where you put his little accessories and stuff like that, his attachments in. And this right here is his canister. And uh, we're gonna look at it. We're gonna look at it out of the um out of the packaging in his entirety. The different uh, attachments on the different poses. Take it outside. Beautiful day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. This is, I know it's a little rough to the more experienced, uh, you know, figure figure reviewers. But um, bear with me, man. Dog, getting it together. I'm gonna be um reviewing a lot more figures on this channel real shortly as they come in. Cause I'm enjoying these figures right now. These figures got me. 
And I've just been grabbing these joints, you know what I'm saying? Grabbing these uh these figures and tucking them away. All right, and um, as you can see right here, this is a removable chest plate right here. Visible, it's like a clear, visible, visible um chest plate right here. So you remove this piece from the chest. And then you apply this right here with a prong. It has a prong. As you can see the prong and the prong sticks into the hole right here. Where it appears to be like a short, a short or shortage or something like that. Like a shortage in his mainframe or something. You know, he's tweaking out right now. He just got battle damage. So that's a pretty dope effect right there that they applied. And as you can see, I switched out an arm, gave him the grappler. The grappler is super dope. Love the grappler right there. That's like the classic signature back attachment right there. If you don't have the claw, your, your shit ain't complete. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's let's see what's up with the other little little components. Get all these uh different things out of the packaging and let's look at them. See right here, this is his backpack that carries his little, little energy, energy sparks, whatever they call. Leave a comment down below if you know exactly what I'm talking about, but um, escapes my mind right now. This is like throwback, super throwback for doggy. But um, as you can see here, you see this B right here, starting, starting to flex on me a little bit. Get out of here, B. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. As you can see right here, these are the energy joints. Super dope, super clean. Yeah, this is fire right here. This is fire right here. I ain't gonna hold you. This is super fire right here. Glad I was able to secure this. Cause it isn't really going too silly right now. Super dope backpack. Clamps on right here, as you can see from the top. Has little prongs. You can see right there, and they just. Yeah, and attached right there, right there, and then same with this side. So that's pretty cool right there. Nice little flex. Then we have the backpack, the classic backpack that you can place all of his attachments, his arm attachments into, and store them away. And as you can see, I put his battle damage uh, face swap, head, head scope, face scope, whatever you want to call it. Brand new head scope right there. Put grip in his hand. Grip looking nice and special. Yeah, that's an MP5 right there. So he's definitely rocking right here. This is definitely rock out. This move the crowd right here. Yeah, this definitely move the crowd. He got one of those there. He got his grip in his uh his side holster. And as you can see. It's like a little, let me see if I get it better for you guys. It has like a little, let's see right here. That's some type of little, little prong. It ain't no significant big prong, but it's a prong all the same that secures his sidearm into his, uh, his holster. So super dope, super clean, man. Super dope, super clean. Look at this, man. This piece is definitely it right here. I'm so glad I was able to secure this, like I said before. And um, to give you an idea of it, you know, the scale of it, you gonna line up next to gun hole. Got gun hole the other day. And um, yeah, super dope, man. Glad to have both these in the collection. Wasn't able to secure Dr. Mind Bender. I was kind of tight about that, but uh, might have to go secondary market and grab it. And he also gave Gun Hold this little ass pistol right here. I don't know. They gave him this little ass pistol. I had to upgrade him. Give him the big boy, the, the knocker right here, the head knocker. I had to give him the big boy right here. I had to scrounge around, look at my pieces, a couple of pieces, man, see if I could find a better grip. Got him a better grip. 
something a little more feasible, man. Can't sack y'all a whole out here in these streets so looking crazy. So yeah, I had to get one of those. It's like one of the brown and four fives, one of the military joints. Old school. Yeah, this 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 wake up the dead right here. This is knocker. This I think this double action, nah, this is single action. I like double action, double action is me. But yeah, this, this gave me one of these right here. But yeah, next to next to the bat, they about the same, the same height. The bat's a little bit taller. Let me see if I can get them stand for you guys. And this is the actual height. As you can see right here. Yeah, the bat's a lot taller. Yeah, the bat's a lot taller. But man, look at these figures here, man. Woo! Amazing, amazing. Super glad to have this bat right here. This bat is it right here. If you don't have it in your collection, man, I buy you go secure this. Because I don't think this is going to stay low. Low prices as at right now. I believe it will rise at in time. Especially when people start getting these in hand, they start looking at them like, wait, hold on. <laughs> these are quality figures right here. These, these are top of the line, man. I got up the ante on these ones, man. Let them go. Yeah, you gotta let them go for a premium, man. These are it right here. Super 7 doing their thing, man. I, I definitely commend them. Had soft salute and them. And I'm a fan, man. I'm always supportive of uh, Super 7. Uh, Definitely a line of figures, man, you don't want to play with, man. Miss those, man. You out the business. All right, man, I'm going to leave you to it, man. That's all I got for you today, man. Stay safe. Suck free doggy, man. Ah, doggy.